Chief Medical Editor, Dr. Nancy Sederman. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's fodder for jokes in movies and on TV. And can be a bedroom annoyance. If I don't fall asleep before him, I'm not going to fall asleep. <laughs> I give him a shove. You need to wake him up or turn him over or something just so that you can sleep. But new research shows snoring should not be ignored. And in fact, may be an indicator of cardiac disease, the number one killer in America. For the first time, doctors say snoring alone may be an early sign of heart disease, likening it to other well-known risk factors like sleep apnea, obesity, smoking, and high cholesterol. We wanted to kind of bring to light the fact that snoring may in fact lead to adverse health. Researchers at the Henry Ford Hospital and University of Nebraska measured the thickness of the carotid artery, the major blood vessel in the head and neck. They found those who snored, regardless of other risk factors for heart disease, had significantly greater thickening of those blood vessels. And that thickening is associated with an increased risk of heart disease or stroke. Snoring in terms of risk factors was number one, independent of the other risk factors, and also uh, was more likely to lead to that thickening than the other, quote, traditional risk factors. Snoring is a telltale sign that a person's airway is being partially blocked. Experts say the vibrations and strain that occur in the airway can also put pressure on blood vessels in the head and neck. Over time, those critical blood vessels narrow, making it harder to pump blood into the head and brain and putting, in turn, undue stress on the heart. So for all of you snorers out there... It's like an elephant, like a uh, buzzsaw. The earthquake that we had a few years ago. Consider this a wake-up call. Snoring is not just a joke. It's now a reason to go see the doctor. Dr. Nancy Snyderman, NBC News, New York.